everyone welcome to the SNG Tuesday podcast that's right it is Tuesday and you are watching a podcast which is kind of weird because the podcast is actually meant to be audio so this would be a vodcast right is that a thing i it is now i think <laughs> okay <laughs> and uh, with me is uh, someone that you have no you have no idea who he is so let me uh, introduce you his name is Shakti Srivastav uh, he grew up in bombay but now he lives in california Sa- santa, yeah, monica. santa monica yeah santa, santa monica, monica. So sh- the reason I have Shakti on uh, this podcast is because Shakti is living the dream, the Indian dream. Mm. Uh, he he he's actually quite a he's a you know quite a what do you call it? What's the what's the what's the word like a a top a top suit? Is it a suit in Silicon Valley? I know I wouldn't go that. Maybe Silicon Beach, but not still not top suit. But I okay. Would, I think I did okay. I think I did okay. Yeah. So so when what character from Silicon Valley are you? Oh, dude, that's a great question. Uh, I think I want to be the guy. uh alik alik bakman bakman i i am not that person but i would want to be him i think that's that's the way i would like uh, to put it but the chinese guy hates him i know but there's something very i don't know what the right word is he's he's likable because of all the garbage stuff that he does right but you but know? but alik bakman actually has no clue about technology yeah okay. that's why I, that's what i'm saying i don't think i i, I am him but I I would say I I yeah I think it's probably one of the reasons I watched that show. I, I the show's hella entertaining yeah, plus yeah, Mike yeah. Judge yeah. writes it and I mean came up with it and he's like my idol. Yeah. He came up with Beavis and Butthead. Oh dude that's the original American show man. Yeah, that is, that yeah. was and a movie called Idiocracy which is fantastic. Oh, really? You must watch it. Yeah. So anyway so I have Shakti on today because I you know Shakti's in town he lives in California he's in town he's in Mumbai and uh, I guess on vacation. Yeah. And uh, when I ran into him I've known him forever uh, yeah, and uh, and uh, we a long time. yeah we have we've known each other for a long time and i was like man it would be so cool for us to know what it's like to be a cto you yeah. he's a a chief technical technology technology see that shows you how much i know about uh, a cto a, a chief technology officer at a company that does a lot of cool tech stuff yep right so that's the level of my expertise in uh, figuring out sure. what you do and you have worked in many many companies before actually. i have yeah you, uh, how many how many companies I would say let's see one two four so far four tech and companies. I have my own company. Yep. Is there so any I company you you work for where, where the tech we might know of that we might use right now? Uh, let's see. Well, sure, no, because they're mostly catered to B two B. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So like and you and well, there was one. There was a company we did uh, was in the digital publishing space. Okay. It was called Glossy. Okay. Uh, didn't do, didn't do too well as a company. Yeah. Uh, but I did build the whole tech platform and the stack. It was a lot of fun when I was there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, most of them are B two B platforms, so it's it's not really something you would have heard of. So where did you go study? What was your college? Where, where did you go? Yeah. So I uh, unlike most Indians, I went to America for my undergrad. Yeah. I was at UMass Amherst. Okay. Uh, great, great, great college. Love it. I recently revisited almost after 12 years I'm yeah. giving away my age here but uh, <laughs> we're the same age man <laughs> okay and uh, what's for actually before you go continue with that like so I am known as the guy you know because I have a lot of when I was in America stories oh, so right. so so the comments are always littered with hey Katie in America stories hey Katie this Katie that you know <laughs> yeah I have stories right right at least I have you know so so you went to UMass and then you went to grad school in I didn't go to grad school I just I've just done my bachelor's and it was oh shit it, it was something yeah exactly right really? and I'm, I'm generally the guy with the smallest degree in any given group <laughs> but yeah somehow i managed to be the cto so maybe that's what the dream is <laughs> yeah dude didn't how can to... you not study you know 8 years of your life in a school pay a lot of you know us dollars towards as education and still get a still come out okay you know that's, that's a miracle in some ways that's a miracle because that means i have i have a masters yeah i know everybody around me does and i do this my team, this I, is my job you know i've got to share this uh, by my company before so I, i had my own company before this and there was a job i worked for uh my entire team i was a director of uh, engineering and head of product strategy was either masters or phd's hmm. so uh i i had my little laugh on the side and i i did a pretty good job over there as well so but it was interesting everybody on my team either had a masters or a phd so so, so shakti i i have a slogan <laughs> i have a slogan for shakti okay shakti uh i may have a smaller degree but i have a bigger dick <laughs> oh <laughs> i wasn't expecting that but let, See the Why thing. Not? The thing about I'll com- take the compliment. There you go. <laughs> yeah. well, comedy is all about a surprise, anyway, right? Yeah. You, it's un- about the unexpected. Yeah. So, um, so, so t- let's talk about this journey because because the the my memory of you is like playing tennis with you yeah, when, when yeah. we were like kids. Yeah. Uh, but that's like 
you know a long era so i do have, actually i do have a story another now that story, oh, really? a kid oh story God. so we had a great rivalry when we were t- when we were playing tennis right, right? back we did, when we were we kids did, yeah. this is like this is like y'all were not even born some of you at least by back then um and he was famous for losing his shit when he lost oh yeah dude and he was always better than me like he he would win like at least no, i don't know was it i would say it's 80 20 okay. i think you would want you would win about 80% of the time so when i did win it was like ah. yeah yeah you know, um but i remember you were the kind of guy when you lost you would throw your racket onto the street oh my god i never forget that yeah, yeah. yeah yeah you have broken quite a few rackets quite a few rackets yeah i was quite the mackinro inspired uh, <laughs> tennis tennis uh, you know wanna be if you want to say that but so so do you still have that sort of uh, do you still lose lose yourself in the no 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 i have you know, <laughs> over the years i've changed dramatically and for the better i have to add are you guys hearing a lot of stuff about india because i mean as well oh, yeah oh my god india is right now you know <laughs> without disclosing too much about what my company is doing but If there is a investor deck that has India on it, yeah. it's going to get ten times as more eyeballs in America. Oh, really? Uh, then a deck that doesn't, you know, the other buzzword there is decentralized with crypto and all of that. But you know, <laughs> the other big word is India. Now, obviously, China immediately following it. Go Modi! Yeah. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I I would I would shy away from politics. I I don't know if I want to take a stab I mean, at <laughs> Modi or Congress or what have you. But uh, I mean, I I but I, I think India's everybody knows that in India. I think to me, when I come here and visit, you know, all my family's here. I have an elder brother who's here. Uh, you know, I have a really cute, adorable niece, sister-in-law, and all of that. But I think the one tragedy around brain drain that I see there's so much talent is a conversation I literally like clockwork have with my dad every time I visit, and I'm like, why aren't things moving or changing faster? We obviously know things mm-hmm. are changing. It's not like things are stagnant or regressing, yeah, yeah. but it's always the same. Like whether it be the roads here, the infrastructure. uh even the iits i think one of the greater things that happened uh, recently is the recs have now become iits yeah. so the institutions the more reputed institutions are increasing in number yeah but you it's know too, i think it's still too slow we have to be still people. slow but everybody i think you know you started off by saying that this was everybody's dream to leave india it's is the pathos of that whole sentiment is there's something sad about it right like with a country where everybody wants to put money in where the indian the smart indians are saying oh i want to leave yeah. so there's something that we could do hopefully uh, again without getting too political uh whether it's the people themselves or the government or everybody together that can make sure that a lot of talent stays here and is actually nurtured and cultivated here i mean i think i think a lot of talent is staying back to be honest uh we have this is thing private versus public in you know, when it comes to the private sector i think we've done we've gone ahead by leaps and bounds you know now even something like for example uh something like the me too movement within the private sector has been mm. extremely helpful bringing women to the front yeah, yeah getting giving a, women a voice but that in the public sector has been very limited yeah. you know so something as silly as that you know uh, that why why do and uh, you know in the, in, it's very difficult in the public sector you have language barriers where reservation and stuff like that and That's and, true, and yeah. the private doesn't yeah. private side doesn't there's no such you can't you can't okay. a private company can't have reservations for a certain group of people that is, for uh, sure. that is illegal i think i don't know if you can even do that but uh, so right. so what are the what are the what are the uh, co- the companies that you keep hearing of is there is there any because i keep hearing of like for example paytm paytm like the owners of paytm were in Wa- warren buffett's office and they yeah no digital wallet is a very big deal right now just because of the population in india and how under developed tier 2 tier 3 cities and villages and rural areas are yeah, yeah. so you know we have a population of what is it we are at 14000 crores yeah no 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 1400 crores 1400 crores exactly yeah, so uh, you know with that population imagine if your auto rickshaw guy to the guy in the village trading on something that's a white so there's no black money and right. any company dealing with that kind of addressable market size is is going to be so paytm is obviously a very digital wallet is a big space paytm i think uh, there's rupay or uh, again i'm i'm not so very there's there's google pay there's pay it's rupay uh, there's right. uh, paytm there's uh, a couple others also i forget paytm is the biggest one because what paytm did was really interesting they put an ad when uh, when uh, demonetization happened mm. they put an ad out in the times of in a full one pager yeah with modi ji doing this right <laughs> so <laughs> so it was like so it's a modi endorsed uh, it looked like it right yeah, so. I, i i don't know what but it was like thank you modi ji for for making india go digital right of right. course paytm should thank him because right, i mean right. it's more money for them right so there's a lot of indians like you know with sundar pichai and uh, there's a lot of indians who keep making like, what's what's the scene here like i I feel like the Indians are doing really well on the most part or is it just we keep hearing positive stories 
I I think it's yeah I, you know I'm I don't I'm not a big believer in the news I think it's, yeah. it's equally sensational like it is in India like it's in America the same way I think uh, this is what I I think the people I've associated with I don't want to generalize for every Indian or stereotype uh, but I think Indians in general have two traits that help them succeed I think we are very hard working hmm. and we are, once we start to do something we are very committed right so yeah. I think with those two qualities even if you're not the smartest kid in the room you know you you're not coming up with the page rank algorithm you're still going to do a really really you, well you, you think know? you're the smartest no i'm saying even if you're not the smartest you'll yeah, do yeah, well yeah. because of those traits yeah. right we're very committed we're very hard working and i would say my general view is indians are not only doing well they're killing it in india i mean in uh, america i mean in fact in not just tech but whatever they do we just yeah. indians in, excel. The, in the medical field yeah Uh, no absolutely i i think i think we are we are very driven yeah. uh, and i think it's because we come from p- poverty and, that's true and, 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 you know it's very competitive growing up and even though i had a very comfortable upbringing but someone is, sacrificed your life so for us to have the middle class lives that right, we did as right, kids right. our parents had to sacrifice right for my sure, dad did for sure. sure right oh yeah same and, yeah, and, same yeah for sure i mean there's this this is a uh, comedian who had this really great line about how up like how old was your mom when she had you Uh I so she was 28. Oh 28 and I'm the younger son so there was my brother uh, before me. Exactly. So she, and you he how old is he? He is 2 years old as so she was 26. Exactly. So think about it like and and you probably have a, if at the same age you'd have a 10 year old 12 year old kid right now 10 right, like something yeah, like that yeah, right? Yeah. And so we are because our parents they sacrificed their lives yeah, so that we could have sure. so we could have good lives absolutely and now we don't want to have kids yeah, yeah. because we don't want those kids to ruin our lives <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, we want to like make the yeah. money like and then go to vacation you know go to mexico right, right, go right. to cancun and right, right. And, and drink uh, margaritas yeah. so would you work would you work in india would you do something in india you've been there for so long i am looking right now you know i'm i'm very very keen actually on doing something here because obviously having uh, friends here family here it puts me at a slightly advantageous position yeah uh, but also because i think i have something to contribute you know i think with the skills that i've acquired over there so uh, how about this how about this so we have we have a decent amount of people who watch this so yeah. we should throw it out to the people who are watching this yeah. see he's the guy who makes apps right. he, he he knows something his tech. like that yeah he knows tech he knows right. tech like you know you know hitting the like button i don't know <laughs> <laughs> you know how you nice. slide in there yeah, 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 slide yeah. in you know very so, clever very very, <laughs> very very sneaky <laughs> what i'm trying to get at is i think what we should do for this podcast is like i think anybody watching here you know you had that idea while you were taking a tatti the other day said, you know like oh man that's for that's sure. a great app you should put that in the comment and if it's actually good idea no i'm going to have him get back to you for sure if, yeah if, if it's a that. if it's a good idea i will first share it with you For sure. Uh, because, but I'm no. I'm sure ninety five percent will be like, yeah. you know, like make an app that makes me poop. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, right. Make an app that makes things cheaper. Right. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Or make an app that gets me a job. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that would be one. Yeah, I think so. But I mean, there's already like Nokri dot com and yeah. this dot com and that dot. I don't know how well they work or anything yeah. like that. Uh, but yeah, no, I think it'll be really interesting to uh, let's let's. I want to see what what kind of ideas people have. Yeah. So absolutely. you should put your ideas in the comments and uh, if, if Shakti approves. He'll give you a thumbs up, but he's probably not doing anything more than that. <laughs> maybe he'll refer you to somebody for sure. Yeah, yeah maybe, to. maybe it can be a way like out of the misery of you know whatever we are in. I, you know, it's not that it's India is not that bad. Like I, I feel like people have the, even now. I think people have a very strange outlook on India. We want to invest in India. We love India, but yeah. we want to live in India. You know, we want to be here, and right. I think that's kind of it's kind of uh, you know like NRIs for example, people who go abroad. Man, I have seen some crazy like they are hardcore Indians. They go mm. more Indian. They go abroad right, and become right, like right, you know yeah, you yeah. walk in and you see like Bhagwan everywhere. Right, right. You right, know, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know they're I love India, I love India. I just don't want to live in India, but I love India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so I think it's the roots, right? Like I think for me also, even though I've been there now almost twenty years, uh, you know, I think I'll I'll never ever forget my roots, and I love them. I mean, I love the love being an Indian, and you know, despite all the issues we've had and all of that. But you're right. I think from a practical perspective, when it comes to you know actually living here you're like okay i have the choice of living where i'm at where things are a whole lot better for yeah. whatever reason yeah uh but i i don't think I'm, me or anybody else in my shoes would ever forget their roots and of course would of course. ever be uh, I, i i just having a chat with some this one girl yesterday and she was like so what what is what is it what's the difference between living in america and living in india and i was like well the only this is so i told her one thing this is the yeah. one thing i was like you, you know what the biggest difference is you don't have a maid Yeah, that's true. To, and she's oh like, my god! And her oh response was like, "I am never going." Yeah, exactly. I'm never leaving India. I know families <laughs> that after marriage have moved back because they were planning 
to have children and what have you they actually moved back or there was a condition put forth that if we cannot get domestic help there uh, which is actually in some cities like new york it's more accessible than elsewhere but in general yeah you're not going to have uh, the kind of help you have here where people stay with you you can have like yeah. people 24/7 and all of that and even if you can get it it comes at a ridiculous premium which yeah, generally yeah. is going to break the bank what what he's saying is guys appreciate your buy yeah. you know go go say oh, hello for sure. yeah, yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Say, say thank you once your, in a while yeah your, your driver the guy who cooks you your meals yeah I mean, the, the the one who's washing your dishes the one who's washing oh, your car the one who's yeah. cooking for you we should say thank you to them absolutely yeah, uh, yeah. we we don't do that you know i, I remember when i was there okay this is one of my amberas and america stories uh, i was listening to npr radio and it was valentines day and they're like uh Call call us and tell us which person you miss the most. And one guy is like, I miss my girlfriend. I was like, I miss my wife. Yeah. And this lady calls and she's like, I miss my maid. You know, like, <laughs> I miss my maid. I wish I could go That's, back to India and bring her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, and, and it's a it's a such a and it's a deal breaker for people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I think is. I think if I didn't have people cleaning after me, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would it be is. I would be a uh, and, and that's why I visit every year so. <laughs> with a pack so of laundry you know <laughs> do the no, laundry I, I think it's yeah that convenience is is yeah it's if you got to be prepared for it mentally to say that hey I'm really I mean they do make it easy for you and everything can be it's all like people doing their own shit and managing yeah. their own shit they do make it really easy but you still have to do it yourself so interesting yeah it, it is something that uh, is very it, it's an adjustment for sure so so recently because of privatization and the amount of money that's pouring in from yeah. american companies like companies like starbucks and mcdonalds you know they have become everywhere everywhere mm. and one thing we didn't have in india and i remember as growing up there's no sense of customer service really oh yeah you yeah, know yeah. you remember you used to go to Even place kya chahiye yeah 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 ha nahi hai yeah the guys doing your favor by taking yeah, yeah. Out, basically right, right like right, i remember right. going to stores where i would be like i want something and they just say no yeah बट ये आपका स्टोर में लिखा है कि आपके पास ये साबुन है अच्छा साबुन है बट फर्स्ट से नो एंड इन अमेरिका इट्स इट्स एक्सेक्ट ऑपोजिट स्माइल राइट एंड वाचिंग दिस डॉक्यूमेंट्री मैकडोनल्ड्स व्हेन दे केम टू इंडिया दे टू ट्रेन द स्टाफ टू स्माइल and yeah i think america's got this down we will feed you we will uh, sorry we will fatten you yeah we will fatten you you will be huge but with a smile this way you know if you go away from the big cities people are generally warm like if you like delhi for example northern oh, india is like, oh yeah absolutely I, oh my god yeah. i remember shimla like i'm walking around talking to locals there yeah. it's the warm it's a cold place yeah. warmest to people yeah. i think it's because of overpopulation I think that's true. People too, yeah. in Bombay and Delhi, yeah. I mean, in Delhi, I keep hearing of people walking around with guns and stuff. Because people are just like, it's a cluster fuck, man. Yeah, There are yeah. so many of us. It's like, ah, look at this yeah, podcast. Like, yeah. I'm so close to you <laughs> exactly, right now. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Like, true. way too close to you, man. <laughs> uh, I agree with that. So, yeah. did you know? Did you know? That, you know, Dunkin' Donuts has a uh, franchise. It's opened up. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Opened here. My, so, one so, of my favorite coffee places, actually. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's failing, by the way. It's in not, India yeah, or it's failing. oh it's shoot failing why India. because we don't like sweet shit for for breakfast we don't like ah. sugar for breakfast you know we ain't ah, we yeah, not makes sense, we, yeah. because we have brains and yeah. we have taste buds yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like yeah. our normal breakfast you know yeah. you know anyway uh, so dunkin donuts when it opened in india mm-hmm. there was a line outside Yeah. So I'm I want to know if if Shiv Sagar opens in California yeah. will there be a line outside oh for sure Dude, <laughs> you know just to, I'll tell you why because So I'm not a I don't watch too many Hindi like commercial Hindi films. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know when we do go out, uh, especially in uh, LA, uh, wherever there's a theater showing Hindi films, there's South Indian films, and oh my God, the lines wrap around the theaters if it's the first day for a show. Oh, were you there for that uh, Chitti thing, that robot movie? That yeah, that, like Rajnikanth is God basically oh. for all practical purposes. He's God, Even right? Like, amongst North Indians. But no, the South Indian population there—it's—it's it's like the the IT <laughs> exodus from India is uh, is, yeah. is really a lot of South Indians. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, dude, I think a ship sagar, anything really. I think, uh, I mean, I, actually, that's come to think of it now, it's one thing I miss in LA. LA doesn't have you good miss, Indian street food. You miss ship sagar? No, I mean, I, I miss good Indian street food. Like there is this mm. little place called Artesia, which is. I guess okay, but not even close. Like New York, in that sense, is great. Yeah, I, I honestly think, even though I live in Santa Monica and I love it, there is no city like Bombay, and there will never be. At really? Least for me. Oh my God, never. And you still call it Bombay? You know the MNS are gonna stand. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a little worried, <laughs> but you know, I I will t- uh, take that risk and still call it Bombay because it's always gonna be Bombay for me. Uh, and you know, whoever's coming after me, you know, don't please. <laughs> Have you heard that line? That very cheesy line: Mumbai is a city, but Bombay is an emotion. Okay. Oh no, I haven't heard that. But that—that's. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd go that far. But uh, 
<laughs> no, I think the people of Bombay. I think Bombay in general is a great city. It's it's alive. It's uh, it's sensory overload for uh, eyes, nose, ears, for everything, right? So, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I I would say no. I think I think if there's anything that's changed, you already covered that. I would say it's too many, too much of everything. A lot more than it used to be, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so I yeah. And I, one thing I would like to see change is. Every time I uh, come here, there's the roads are always dug up. So I would really like to come here one year and see some part of town where the roads are not dug up or there's no some half completed bridge. Can we come up with a tech it. solution for this man? I wish there was. You know, we, we that's that's the AR, the augmented reality stuff. I think maybe we could live in that bubble. Yeah, you just know, wear a gla- exactly, glass yeah. and just oh, the exactly, roads are so nice. Exactly. Everything looks amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Augmented reality. Yep. Yikes, man! That sounds actually scary. But there's actually we were just working on our we do this news comedy show and one one of the things the the which is so weird one of, one of our one of our um, ministers Chandrabad Chandrabad Naidu some Naidu whatever he said something like we should have more children in India to reduce our dependency on robots. Oh my god! That is no, please don't no 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 more producing people. I think no, no, but, doing but a pretty I mean, good job of that. No, it's true. It's it, it saddens me a little bit, but you know. Hopefully the the BJP or whoever is on top of it and is gonna they're on top of it. They, yeah. they all want you to have more kids, by the way. Oh, <laughs> that's that's bad news. <laughs> no, because the the Muslims are saying, hey, you guys should have more kids, so we have more Muslims. The Hindus are saying, no, let's combat this with more kids, so we have more Hindus. Oh my god. And uh, and meanwhile, the Parsis are like, what now? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Just curious, is this last last for three four years or is this for the last ten years? I I would say maybe yeah somewhere I would say about six to eight years for sure yeah. For sure, that's For Manmohan sure. Singh. Yeah. Everyone now, forget. I take, I take the <laughs> go Modi so back. So this guy is insisting on a political angle on everything. Please, I would. <laughs> I I have been to Arnab show a few times. So oh, I'm, 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 see, learning, I'm learning oh from the master. God, I can't stand that guy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, you know, Arnab's interesting. I just I was just on the show. He's an interesting guy. He's yeah. no different from any of the uh, Fox News or the CNN guys. But Fox News is garbage, complete garbage. Too. But CNN, so if you look at it, they're all the same. They just take one side of the story. Yeah, but I think his uh, can I say histrionics? Like he's he's almost like the seventies melodrama with yeah, news, yeah, yeah. which is uh, you know a little. Uh, I mean, that's not what news is supposed to be. I no, think of course not. Around. Of course not. I mean, it's really weird because I, they uh, they call me on the show all the time, and I keep yeah. saying no because I was like, man, I. But the other day I did go. I was like, because you know what, I want to be one of those faces on that box. That, yeah, yeah. You know, eight boxes on the <laughs> right, right. See, America doesn't have that. I think yeah. America needs to add that. I have this theory that. Trump deep down wishes he was Indian. Just think about it, man. Really? Just think about it. If he was the Indian PM right now, yeah. Think about what he could have done. Everything would be thrown under the rug. Yeah. All, all that guy, the guy who is investigating him, right, would right. probably be selling chana on, right, on Juhu right. Beach That's right true. now. That is true. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he would get away with a lot more. He would. would. Yeah. I was like, Which is, uh, in a way, it's unfortunate for Trump that he grew up in America. Yeah, that's true. That he, is. He, he could. His dad could have given him a million dollars in in <laughs> India. <to> India. <laughs> Super rich. Yeah. Uh, you know, even in India, apparently these rich guys, when they go to jail, they go to five star jails. I'm sure. I don't even know how many of them go to jail. So. Oh, they do. Uh, they like do. so that Arnav has something to yell about, right? Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all like this. Yeah, this, this yeah, thing yeah. And, uh, That is true. It's all. <laughs> it's a cycle. All of, planned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely. Awesome. Okay, man. Uh, so that that was the uh, that was it. Uh, Shakti, uh, if, if if anybody has questions, are are, are you uh, okay with people reaching out to you if they have questions? Or, yeah, sure. I mean, I'll I'll look at the comments in the podcast, and you know, as much okay. as time so, permits, I'll definitely. So I'll send him the link to this podcast. If you guys have questions about careers in his line, in in uh, what it takes to be where he is at a CTO, yeah, what, and ask questions like, hey, what do you guys look for in new recruits? You know, ask smart questions. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because uh, that may help you plan your your future out. Uh, maybe there are, you know there are institutes in India where where I I don't think you have to study the US to work there. I don't think that's a yeah, I, I think, think it a, definitely makes it easier, but you don't have to. I wouldn't say it's oh, it does. It does make it easier. It makes it a lot easier because it's again, it's changed a lot. But when I was there, uh, you know, people coming. That's why every most Indians who go there do a masters yeah. to get the US degree, uh, which makes the transition to the job, uh, getting a job much easier. Because degrees, yeah, you know, we do three year degrees. Yeah. Like engineering is four years, but if you did a BSc, for example. That's three years. American undergrad is four years. So there is a little bit of a... Although I think now in the last 15 years, all of that has probably changed and it's well aligned with the curriculum in America and how the system well, works Well, I mean, there. with some... With the IITs, the IIMs... They, oh, yeah, yeah. They're IIT, fine. They're, they're absolutely... They're fine. Course. And what about, like, the the work-life balance? Like, in India, the work-life balance is pretty shit. Like, they, people work to, like, you know... Like so 11, IT is rough, like, yeah. I think IT is, in general is rough. But I think ultimately it's... I would say, you know, in your 20s, it didn't matter much. I didn't think much about work-life balance. Yeah. I mean, I got married in my late 20s. So, uh, but I think the work-life balance there is, you know, Saturday and Sundays are off. You have 
at least two weeks uh, PT, like paid time like off and then you have vacation days uh so i i think if you can if you do want to work life balance you can have it but i i would say that relative to other industries in america it is definitely uh you are working along you're working long hours for yeah. sure yeah for awesome sure. hi man thanks for coming on this is a awesome. this is thank fun. you this is yeah. a very actually usually we do like a lot of like uh, like yeah. two, two weeks ago was like uh, the question the topic was uh, what the fuck is rakhi sawant Oh wow! Yeah, so we've gone from. I'm gonna uh, go and check out that uh, from Rocky Sawant. Yeah, from Rocky Sawant, we've gone to what does it take to be in IT? <laughs> Seriously, you know, wow! But I have to say, like, and one part he thought is one thing I hated about being in America was mm-hmm. every meeting I would walk into, someone would be like, "Hey, the IT guy is here." Oh yeah, I'm like yeah, fuck yeah. off! I'm in marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the stereotypes do exist. Yeah, because anyway. apparently brown skin and IT go hand yeah, in hand. I, I, I can, I can understand that. All right, guys, boys and girls, we'll see you guys next week for another edition of the podcast. Don't forget to check out. Yes, up, kya ho raha hai every Thursday. I'll see you guys next week.